All right, good morning all. Welcome back to the round pen with us for the first horse in for the spring. What I got in here today, hey, quit that, quit that. This here is Boomer. He's uh, just turned four year, whore, four year old gilding. He's quarter horse, kind of a nice looking little horse. Um, he's been started under saddle either last year or the year before. He's been rowed a little bit, but from what the owner tells me, he's just kind of lacking in manners and respect and needs some refinement put on him as far as just time under saddle and get him a little more respectful and moving off your leg and doing the different things that a four-year-old needs to start picking up on and learning. So we're going to get started on him this morning and just like every other young horse or horse that I bring in here to, to start or restart or, or work on, I'm going to start him out with some round pen work and just trying to get him a little focused and being spring and a grass round pen, he's going to probably be a little bit distracted. He's only been up here since yesterday. So it's still a new area for him and he's still getting used to being across the fence from my horses. And you can hear my cow dog puppy back there barking, so he's got to deal with that. And, but he seems like he's a pretty nice little colt. He's pretty easy going. She says he's got kind of a biting problem a little bit, but hasn't tried to bite me. But he, when I worked him a little bit yesterday, just in the round pen to see how he moved and make sure that he was physically ready to do this stuff, he's a little bit, little bit of a motor and a little bit of energy and spring playing around stuff, but that's all pretty typical stuff. So I'm gonna send him around first to my right here and kind of work on this offside if I can. You can see he's not all that, he's not all that uh, familiar with getting his feet to move in the direction that you want him to move in. So we'll have to pressure him just a little bit more and get him going here. Psst, 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 psst. He just kind of, he's not spooky for sure, and he doesn't shy away from this rope too much. But he's not especially motivated, which is okay. You can tell that he's real comfortable with being around people, though, and kind of pushing on your space a little bit. which I want to make sure that I got that respect for my space down here and a motivation to move out of my way when I ask him to move out of my way. And I got his ear a little bit there. It's a little bit distracted, got his eye a little bit. Always want to go in the same direction that you start with to focus that one side first and then focus the other side. <clears throat> See, the, the, really the only thing, I don't know much about how he was trained, how long he was trained, how long the people had him that started him. I don't know any of that stuff. So I just kind of take it for granted that he doesn't know nothing. And we'll just go along here today. Today is really just to find out, get him focused and find out what he knows and doesn't know. The owner says he's a little impatient and he doesn't like standing tied. And, but that's all stuff we'll find out. For a young horse, you know, probably the most important thing for a young horse is to get them focused first. Huh? 
and getting them f to figure out who's going to be the leader of this herd and who he has to look to for that support and that leadership. to get what it is you want done with them. That's not a bad little start right there. Pretty good. So we're gonna send him off again. Reinforce this side a little bit. He's not an especially spooky horse. I don't think he's had much rope work, but he seems pretty accepting of it. You know what I've told you guys before too, one reason why I start on this right side is because most horses are a lot more receptive to learning things on the right hand side than they are on the left because everybody works on the left everybody works on the left and and they get used to people being over here on the on the left hand side and they build in kind of an automatic brace up on the left hand side Whereas the right hand side is a little bit more open to suggestion. You're a pretty little thing. You know, I tell people you can't ride pretty all the time, but I still like pretty horses too. There's no. All right, we're going to send him the other way now and see how he does. And this guy, he's still got some growing to do. He's a little bit downhill, but he just turned four years old, so he's probably got another year to grow and fill out. But he's put together nice. He's got a, his back is a little bit long, a little bit longer than a bulldog type foundation quarter horse. But I didn't see, I haven't looked at his papers, but I know his breeding, some of his breeding, and most of it's diamond, something or another. His registered name is Blue Diamond, but but he's got some he's got some poco in him. He's got some pine. He's got some skipper in him. Well, that kind of tells me that he's had a little bit of, he's had a little bit of round pen work, and he's not that hard to get focused. He's paying attention to me and doing what I ask him to do. And you know, you don't have to keep pinging and pinging and pinging to make this stuff look movie quality or perform some horse whispering magic crap. It's just to get an idea that this horse is going to focus on you and look to you as the herd leader. And that's all I'm looking for. I don't need, I don't want him to follow me around in my hip pocket every minute of the day. I want him to retain a little bit of that independence and wherewithal about his surroundings and and whatnot. All right, that's a pretty good start. How long have we been going there? Yeah. 
So we're gonna break the halter out here. See what he knows about his halter work and his groundwork. One thing I need to keep mindful of is the fact that she said he does bite, but he bite, he bit her and not her husband so much. So that, that kind of tells me that it's not, it's not him being a habitual biter, it's him it's him knowing who's going to make him mind and who he respects. And who he has to pay attention to more so than he just wants to chomp everybody. For having some motor blood in his bloodlines, he's pretty laid back for a four-year-old. And that's kind of what they're looking for in this horse. They want a, a more settled, laid back type of horse. I don't know, as he gets going and figures out how to get motivated, he might get a little more energetic. But right now, he's real relaxed and going through the program and doing what I ask him to do. And, So from what I can see so far, he's got a pretty nice start on life and it's more just refinement than anything else. I asked them if they did any bending and flexing with him and they said very little. So I played a little bit with his bending yesterday just to kind of get an idea of how he would follow this halter. They might not have done much, but whoever worked with him in the beginning and started him out as a colt has done a little bit. See, he's a little bit drifty there, but that's pretty good. You can tell too that uh, you know, we don't pull no punches when it comes to exposing them to stuff out here. Our, it's windy today and my, my horses are out in the field running around and we got big tractors and fertilizer trailers coming back and forth through here and semis and dogs barking and everything else. And I want these guys to be able to deal with all of that stuff and still look to me for that leadership and that support to get the job done that I need to get done. That's some pretty good stuff right there. Okay, let's cut her off there and we'll move on a little bit.